Okay, I'll reload it. Big Dappuccino here. This is going to be a Chevrolet Camaro showcase. Uh, I've decided to do this. I had this idea for a while because I'm 50th. Well, it, no, it's not even the 50th. What is it? This is the uh, 1911. So, yeah, this is the 100th anniversary of. No? 110. No. Actually, it's the 200th anniversary. No, I'm, I'm wrong. It's the 100th anniversary of um, the 100th anniversary or the diamond anniversary of uh, Chevrolet. They were founded on November the 3rd, 1911, but it, the company didn't go public or actually become a division until 1917. I think at first they were supplying parts to Ford, to be honest. And probably doing some private, like, mechanicalism type stuff. They were making engines. Just That's what Dodge started off doing, too. The uh, Chevrolet Camaro debuted in September 29, 1966. But that was considered the 1967 model year. Of course, it was created as a competitor to the competitor to the Ford Mustang that debuted in 1964 and Pontiac also a division of GM released the Pontiac Firebird in 1967 but shared its platform and major components so the first generation well not really first generation but it was all on the same platform they called it the F body and that ran from 1967 to 2002. They don't really break it up. It was different body styles though. Whole different body styles. We're going to get into that. But they consider that whole big. Uh, that's weird. The F body. It's definitely different body styles. Different shapes. They all consider that F body. The Zeta platform was 2010 to 2015. The current Alpha platform started in 2016 and continues to the present. <clears throat> okay, so now let's look at what we got on the turntable. Which is the uh, M2. I didn't do. It's a 20. I think this is a 2020. Me, um, I don't believe I didn't do anything, do anything on the M2. Because I wasn't expecting this to be up here. I added it up here. It's the M2. And this is a um, custom. I rock Z Camaro 1985. Nah, I don't have no, really no information on it. Yeah, it's a 2020. It's supposed to be special uh, version. I don't know if L SLP or Meigenfelter or whatever did it. I need, I wanted to, supposed to go online and see if I could find out some more information. Or was this something to just do together or was it based on a real car? I think it's based on a real car because it has this LX, LSX twin turbo. The way, it, the way the whole thing way is set up, it's not overdone. It looks like track or race oriented you can see it's got the skinnies in the front it's got the big meats in the back like I said it's 1985 I rock Z 
I was looking for a more stock version of this casting, but I can't find it right now. I think they have released it, but I haven't seen it. Originally, it was a pink one that everybody was going crazy over, but I didn't like the treatment on it. No, I take that back. The black and green one was the one I didn't really like. Is it black and green? I think so. Yeah. Neon green. So we're going to put that to the side. And we're going to continue. Let's get into the main lines. I'm crafting and wasting time. First, we got um, this Hot Wheels. Most of the, well, all of the uh, mainline cars are going to be Hot Wheels. This is a 68 Copo Camaro debuted in 2020. 2011 sorry new models 2011 to present this casting is still being used uh designed by phil rowman the car is a replica of the 1968 control office production order camaro but the hood on this car is from 1967 yanko camaro yeah, this version is from 2019 Muscle Mania series. And that white with the black stripe in the back near the trunk. And it's got a small stripe. And you look, look, actually has a Corvette uh, hood to me. That's where that originated at. So that's the stinger right there. Let's call it the stinger. The niche patch wheels. No details on here. No tail lights ain't done. Headlights and stuff ain't done. But this is the 68. Next, we're gonna go into a very popular body style which you can probably see this again got another 69 or here too but the 1969 camaro hot wheels main line this is a convertible debuted in 2006 first editions produced from 2006 to present designed by phil rowman again this is from the hw flames Five pack 2019 orange with the red and silver stripes. You know, it looks white, yeah, with the white interior. That's that's clean, kind of off white, not perfect. And I have several mainline Camaros. I could have did another one. I think I got a Bumblebee one that's like black and yellow with an actual Bumblebee in the design. I think near the trunk. But I didn't want to pull that one out. As usual, mainline. And from a five pack, no design, got these big tail wheels on it. Yeah. Proton and style or whatever. Next, we got a 1985 Camaro, ironically, like I showed you what the N2 is supposed to be. Um, this is the, this is the uh, one that debuted in 2012, new models. Per Produced from uh, 2012 to present. Designed by Brendan Vituski. IROC stands for International Race of Champions. A popular circuit racing series in the U.S. with several muscle cars like the Camaros, Mustangs, Challengers, and AMC Javelins. 
pretty much that's where they got the reputations. What the saying was uh, race on Sunday uh, at the dealership on on Monday, something like that. Race on Sunday, sale on Monday, or some, some stuff like that. I forgot what it is. And this is uh, the 50th anniversary throwback version from 2018. Yellow with the red flames. With a blue trim on the flames. No tail lights, no headlights. And they did a whole rack of stuff. They had a 50th anniversary. And they had uh, a Camaro 50 series. Which was very interesting. I think the 50th anniversary was just for Chevrolet. No, it was for, it was for Camaro. Next, we got this... Uh, we're getting into the Martin day. I thought I had some more, uh, something to put between there, but uh, generations, but I didn't for the main line. It's not that I was looking for. I didn't look through everything though. I have a few like cases and stuff that I didn't look through. This is 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition. They debuted in Hot Wheels. Hot Showroom, HW Garage, produced from 2012 to present, designed by Felix Hoist, and this is from the Camaro 50 collection, or series, not to be confused with what I was talking about before the 50th anniversary, throwback, this is Camaro 50, and this is the black version from 2017. That's the series when the series came out. But it was celebrating. The anniversary happened in 20. Yeah. They're right. 2017 because it came out in 1967. Yep. They on point. And this bad boy. It's got. I don't think it's headlights. Uh, what the summer is, it just good real. No tail lights. They're black and the gold trim. Black interior. Gold uh, windshield. Plastic, you know what it is. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Next, we got the. Uh, the Martin, this is what you're seeing on the streets down. Latest version, even though it's been even more defined. You know, I really, it's looking more and more like a Corvette. This, I don't know, it's like them and a the Corvette is like, I don't know. They're related, but always been related mechanically, but. Can't deal with it. It's the 2016 Camaro SS. Debuted in Muscle Mania 2016. Produced from 2016 to present. Designed by Brendan Watuski, who I mentioned before. This is the sixth generation of the car. This is from the Camaro 50 collection, which I just talked about. It came out in 2017. Not to be confused with the 50th anniversary Camaro from 2018. That's a completely different color. I think that's pearl green. <clears throat> and again, no uh, distinguishing features. They did the grill. That, that looks kind of tight. They did get that. Um, no indention on the tail lights really. I could have at least did the tail lights, but it's a main line. So 
Next, we're going to go to the premiums. And we start out with a 68 Chevy Camaro 2018. Green with the black trim. This is green light. And we're going to compare with the main line. First, let's take a look at this one. The hood opens. You can see the orange block with the chrome uh, air clean. I don't know what color this would be considered. They had different shades of green. It's kind of like a mint green to me. And it's got the BF Good Wrench wheels on it. White leather tires. Tail lights is done. Is that what those look like inserts. And this is has the RS treatment on the uh, grill to hide away lights. And this is the main line version. I'll tell you the scale the Hot Wheels does. Not bad on the length, but look at how beefy that is. <sighs> I love green light when they do muscle cars, man. You know, sometimes their quality control is in. Eh. It's not as bad to me because I've seen quality control issues even from Auto World. So, not as bad as M2. M2 quality control is. This is a 1969 Chevy Camaro ZL1. This is from Greenlight 2. This came out in 2018. This is Hugger Orange. I, I think that's the color. It looks like a hook of orange. With the red shirt. Why did you do that, though? I was. Didn't pay attention. I was getting so many calls at that time. I probably showed this for like maybe a week or so here and probably just shelved it, put it on my TV stand. Then moved it to where my uh, other stuff is. It's got Firestone tires. You usually don't see Firestone white walls. I don't know. License plate on it. I think this was a Barrett Jackson. Yep. This was from the Barrett Jackson auction series. Which I always buy them cars if I see them. Because they're based on real cars. And this just has a black out engine with chrome underneath. I guess the block is chromed out. The air cleaner is black. Everything else looks black. Headlights are painted. You see the indicator under there? I thought that would be orange or yellow with an oak wheel. I guess those are fault lights, I guess. Indicators on the side. And they're present, so. Black interior. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Next, we got this uh, 1971 Chevy Camaro from Johnny Lightning. I was gonna say this. This is a pea green. It's like a. I don't know. It's like a goldish. It's not. It's like a goldish. Like a dark goldish. Strange color. Well, it's factory, you know. It's got white interior with the black dashboard. It freaks me out. Why do they always do that? I guess that's what, was, what they were doing in real life or. And it's got a realistic license plate. 
tail light, a painted accent, man. You see the brake light detail. The hood doesn't open on this one. I think this is like entry level. The, the wheels are real meaty. It's just strange because we're round two. They usually. Yeah, round two, their wheels are usually skinny. So that's the 71 Camaro. Thought it was a RS or a SS, but it is a SS. On the base, it just says Chevy Camaro. So. Next, we're moving on. I think this was a Bar 5. 1975 Chevy Camaro barn finds or either projects in progress. I can't remember. But this is from 2018. Johnny Lightning. It's got the patina on it. And it's ironic because, of course, this basically what Bumblebee was, I think, in the... Um, In the first movie, that's basically how Bummer would be looked. First Transformers movie. And this has totally black interior. The white Craigers sitting on be a good wrench, white with a tie. Realistic looking license plate. The hood doesn't open on this bad boy. You can see the primer. All the weathering. And their, the paint is matte on this, which kind of like. Because I had burn finds and projects on projects. Pro, excuse me. Projects and progress with the. Uh, But the paint was like pristine. There ain't no way. So I didn't have a wheel issue going on. Still not fixed. There it is. And it's time for the, the go. Ah, tail lights and everything's done. I think I talked about that now. Next, last but not least, we have. A green light. And this is a 2012 Chevy Camaro SS from 2017. Well, 2019. The 17 is the model. So it's 2017, I think. I had, I probably had this, but. I mean, 2019. The hood opens on this. And it looks like it has induction on it. Is that what I'm looking at? It's definitely for the track, as you can see. Got track slicks on it. So this bad boy is going to track. Tail lights is done. Head lights is done. Terry is all black. So 
that's pretty much it, man. That's the Camaros. That is the Camaros. But basically for the main line up there. I have a Martin Premium Camaro, but I didn't feel like fishing it out. Because it's pretty much, it's not pretty much so just like this. I it has taillights done and indicators and it's more realistic in scale. I got them weird head, squinty headlights now, so... So that's pretty much it, man. I want to thank the subscribers for holding me down. One of the showcase videos. I don't even know. I just did this because I've been sitting on this content for so long. Sometimes I do content just for me because I haven't seen it done. Uh, as far as new uh, subscribers or random viewers, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Like I always say, not the best Diecast channel, but not the worst either. Model here, show a little love for the Diecast. This is Big Dappuccino signing out. This has been a Camaro Showcase.